Hi, I'm Spencer Ciarelli. I'm here with The Vindicator at Cleveland State University for the TEDx event with the theme, Right to Dream. Make sure to check out my piece uh, reviewing the TED Talks event and our upcoming November issue. What are you looking forward to most uh, here at the TED event? Learning a lot about different things, getting inspired. I'm looking forward to meeting people that like to challenge the status quo and think. Actually, I'm here for my brother, Bashir Jones, and uh, he's here live, and I'm here to support him. I am a huge fan of the TED Talks. I've been watching it on YouTube for the longest time, so when I heard it was coming locally, I was really excited and couldn't wait to get my tickets. Yeah, it's very exciting for Cleveland State, for Cleveland, to bring this large-scale event here. It's very exciting. Well, I have, um, instead of bringing a big um, notebook, I brought note cards for all of the cool concepts because there are a lot of people who couldn't come today who are counting on me to bring them their best, the best tips from the day. Uh, I think I'm looking for those kind of quotes that I can use and uh, things that, little snippets of information that I can take away. I'm, I'm really excited about the opportunity to be here. I just thank Cleveland State for hosting such an amazing event. And it's all about changing the world and we all have different ideas on how to do that and how to accomplish it. Uh, so I'm just excited to be here, really. Today's theme for the TED event is the right to dream. What does the right to dream mean to you? To be free and do what makes me happy. I'm going off what Kinga said. For me, the right to dream is basically freedom to exist as you choose. The right to dream means to have the ability without restrictions or restraints to think your own thoughts. You know what I'm saying? At, 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 at liberty and at will. It means to do something that I like or love. The right to dream means to me, um, I guess, just to take advantage of all the opportunities that we're given and to really just live it up and never be too afraid to dream too big. Even at my age, you still can dream. It's, you know, don't forget that. The right to dream is like following your goals and paving your own way to success and reaching them. Well, you know, I think that, you know, when it comes to dreaming, many people are afraid to dream. You know, we have, you know, mental abortions every day where we have, we kill our dreams with doubts and fears. So, you know, this event, being able to, to, to see this event and see the right to dream from different perspectives is really inspiring to meet people who are a lot older than me or who come from, who come from different backgrounds but who still want to dream. Uh, so it's exciting. I, I'm excited to be here and to see you guys walking around. And it's so, it's, it's like, you know, this TED event and the, the the Cavaliers opener is just, it's just it's an exciting time right now in Cleveland. All right, I'm here with Julius, and we're in the tent called the Dream Cloud. Can you tell us a little bit of what that's about? Put your dreams on this card, and we put it in the cloud. A visual cloud, not like Apple's cloud. <laughs> so we have a lot of dreams from everybody that's pretty much here, and they are amazing what was your dream my dream was to create social justice and be a professor because I'm currently getting my graduates here uh, for sociology in hopes of going on teaching what was your dream um, success of my art show Agora theater November 20th seven o'clock come okay I mean this is my dream okay stay still At our first intermission, what has been your favorite speaker or presentation so far? Well, the most inspiring probably was Bashir Jones, kind of giving us a good pep talk on uh, helping others and uh, inspiring less fortunate to be great because uh, it's important for me to uh, to expel excellence in, in people and I think that can be in any class. So uh, anything to uh, generate and promote excellence is, is good in my book. Um, I have to say Bashir. I know Bashir. I know the work he does in um, our Cleveland's uh, neighborhoods and he's always inspirational and he's always very on point, which he was this afternoon. I really enjoyed Bashir Jones, but I also enjoyed the NASA speaker. Same with me, this exact same too. I love the NASA speech. I think the whole right, right to dream theme really came out in that speech, so I really love that. We are here with one of our presenters. Can you give us a little gist of what you just uh, talked about over in our event? Yes, so I talked about empathy being the missing link to innovation. Do you feel famous over here being one of the central key roles in her story? Yes, because 
because I'm the whole entire reason that everything <laughs> happened. All right, guys, I'm here with Jesse. He was one of the uh, amazing speakers here that we had at the TEDx Talks today. Um, he was talking about human trafficking a little bit and then just talking about forced labor in general. And his dream is freedom for everybody. And that's, and that's uh, he's a hero and a big advocate for freedom. And uh, just uh, could you tell us a little bit about your talk today? Yeah, absolutely. I sort of took everybody step by step through my journey getting into human trafficking, uh, getting an anti-human trafficking. Um, in no way did I ever think about being in this. I just sort of fell into it, or if anything, it fell into me. And the big thing is we talk about human trafficking and we're all always like, somebody's got to do something about that. And we always think National Guard, protests in the streets, big, big changes. But that's not going to end it. What's going to end it is little changes by us. Us. When we talk about forced labor, it touches everything that we buy. So let's not buy that stuff. Let's buy the stuff that promotes freedom. Let's buy stuff that's fair trade. Let's buy stuff that's ethically made. And that increases the demand, which in turn increases more production of ethical items, and the system changes. How did you get involved with the TED Talk specifically to talk today? Well, I'm a student here. I'm finishing up my doctorate in urban education, and I saw an ad for it. Like, hey, you want to do a TED Talk? Come and try out. So I did, and, you know, got accepted. What's your opinion here about uh, the programs like TED Talks coming here to Cleveland State? Like, how, how, do, you, how do you feel about that? Well, I, I love that it's coming to Cleveland State. I feel like I'm a member of the Cleveland State family now. Um, and TED really adds a lot of legitimacy to our campus. I mean, a lot of people think, oh, Cleveland State, uh, going down there. But then you start hearing that there's this huge TED Talk and everything, and people are starting to take notice. All right, guys, so it looks like the TED Talks are coming to a close here today. We're about to head out for some dinner. Um, supposed to be some really good food. But um, thank you for joining us for the coverage of the TED Talks. And um, it, it's been a really inspirational journey for those of us who, uh, who stuck around to, to hear all the speakers. These were definitely ideas worth spreading. Absolutely. Dare to dream. Dare to dream. Yeah.